Hi guys, and welcome to Trucking Along with Kiersey. That's me, your positive voice in trucking. And today I want to send you to not one, but two amazing guys. Two amazing Prime CDL instructors in our PSD program. That is Twisted Big D and Primetime Fits. These two guys are resourceful, they're knowledgeable, they're patient, they're straightforward, they're willing to help, and they're willing to answer all your questions that you have. And I really think it's probably a good idea. If you're interested in Prime, go check them out too. See what they think about certain topics because something that you're gonna learn in trucking is you're gonna take a little bit of information from him and a little bit of information from her and a little bit from me and a little bit from him and then you're gonna get on your truck and you're gonna formulate your own way. And then who knows, maybe you'll get training in a couple years and you're gonna give out some information and that person, your students are gonna take a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit of yours and make it their own. So check out these two guys. They've really, really helped me. Um, it's a little bit of a struggle for me doing PSD after four and a half years of TNT. You know, having people that never, 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 never even turn on a key on a truck, it's really easy to forget as an experienced driver um, certain obvious things. Uh, you know, you're starting with people with a clean slate, so you really have to make sure that you communicate in a certain way. One person with, you know, one driver kept saying landing gear, landing gear. Well, that person had worked for an airline, so when somebody said landing gear, he was looking at the trailer tandems because landing gear in the airlines are what? It's the tires, it's the wheels, it's your landing. Um, something that a lot of drivers say when they're trying to tell you to straighten out they'll say get under it get under it well what the heck does that mean and really what it's saying is like you're cocked the trailer and the and the tractor are not even and your tires will actually turn and get under the trailer which straightens you out so really what they're saying is straighten out but if you don't know what that's what they're talking about different people learn differently they learn in different ways different people respond to um, terminology differently one very common way of teaching is people will say turn towards the problem well problem is say this is the trailer if the back of the trailer is going left, where's the front of the trailer going? It's going to my right. Okay, so I would see this and I'd be sitting here looking in the mirror and in this mirror, this side's in the wrong spot and in this mirror, this side's in the wrong spot. So guess what? I saw a problem at both ends of the trailer. So turn towards the trailer didn't make any sense to me. And you know, I had to develop ways on my own to figure out um, how to do this. Also something that we've discussed um, on one of Daniel's live videos. He does a lot of lives so he's really good. I'm still trying to figure out microphones and stuff so now that I'm home and I'm going to be able to you know be home and figure stuff out, I'm going to try to figure out my whole live feed microphone issue because the mic just was not working. People were getting feedback. They were, and it didn't matter. I turned all the mics off. I turned all the speakers off. Everything, and and no matter what I did, it just didn't work. So I'm gonna have to play around with it, and I will. I promise. But anyway, in his live feed, he talks a lot about what trainers expect from students. He he is encouraging. He's really knowledgeable. Um, he'll, he's willing to answer any of your questions, which is really cool. So I really think that these two guys, if you're talking about coming to Prime, you want to go check out Prime Time Fits and Twist It Big D. And sometimes it just takes 
talking to somebody else to give you uh, another way of explaining it. Um, on his live feed, we talked about the importance of going to your own instructor when you have issues. Now, I just told my students today, if you have a problem and you don't understand what I'm saying, I don't want you going to your friends that you just met last week and their trainer says, do it this way, this way, this way. That's not good because guess what? All of our trucks have different reference points. You should think about that. Backing a Peterbilt is not the same as backing a Cascadia. Um, so there might be issues with that. One student was watching videos on parallel parking. That can actually hurt you. You know, watching videos on pre-trip even. Make sure you watch what your company tells you to watch. Don't just randomly pull one. And for somebody who is a YouTuber, that sounds hypocritical. The problem is that over the years, the wording on the pre-trip has changed. I've been here six years and it's already changed like three or four times. So if you watch a video from five or six years ago, it may not help you. It may do you more harm than good. Especially when it comes to the brake test because that's an automatic fail if you don't get that right. Don't spend hours and hours watching a video that might not help you. When it comes to the backing, I had a student that was watching parallel parking. She sat there and watched this video over and over and over. And it told her, okay, we'll be three feet from this cone, look for the 10th cone, then back up, then turn when you get to the 12th cone and blah, 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 blah. You know what the problem was? All backing pads are set up differently. So we don't have 12 and 15 and 10 cones. We have six. So it didn't, ha it didn't work. Um, so if, if you do have issues, discuss them with your instructor. See if the instructor's willing to take you to somebody else and have them explain it to you in a different way. Um, make sure that you're watching other people because it's some you can actually learn from watching other people's mistakes. Uh, trying to do it, then watch it, then do it may help you. Um, any of my students, I'm gonna guess what? I'm gonna take them to to twist it in prime time. That's where I'm taking my students. <laughs> so anyway, um, again, if you see me out on the pad, make sure that you give me a holler. Hi. And um, like, comment, subscribe, ring the notification bell. And I hope to see you out here. Chuck, chuck, chuck along. Bye.